Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on the point gradient formula. The point gradient formula. The point gradient formula enables us to find the equation of a line if we know the gradient of the line and one point that lies on the line. The point gradient formula is y minus y1 equals m outside of x minus x1. In this formula, m represents the gradient and x1, y1 is the point which lies on the line. Here's a simple example. Find the equation of a line with a gradient of 3 and it passes through the point 4, 5. Let's see how we do this example on the next slide. So repeating the simple example, find the equation of a line with a gradient of 3 and it passes through the point 4, 5. So restating the formula, y minus y1 equals m outside of x minus x1. Here m equals 3 because the gradient is 3. And x1, y1 is 4, 5. So x1 is 4 and y1 is 5. Substituting the above values into the formula we get y minus 5 equals 3 outside of x minus 4. That gives us y minus 5 equals 3x minus 12. We just remove the grouping symbols. If we add 5 to both sides we get this line and after simplifying we get y equals 3x minus 7. Here's an interesting little note. Since the equation is in the form y equals mx plus b, and we saw this equation in previous videos, where m was the gradient and b was the y-intercept. Hence, we know that the y-intercept is minus 7. Let's look at two more examples. Find the equation of a line with a gradient of 5, and it passes through the point minus 4, 3. So here is the formula we saw earlier, where m equals 5 and x1, y1 is minus 4, 3. So substituting that information into the formula, y minus 3 equals 5 outside of x minus minus 4. y minus 3 equals x plus 4, because the two minuses there gives you a plus. Removing the grouping symbols, we get y minus 3 equals 5x plus 20. If we add 3 to both sides, when you become proficient, you can actually do this in your own head. You don't have to write the steps down, as long as you know that that is what is required. So we add 3 to both sides, which gives us y equals 5x plus 23. We can see that the gradient is 5. And the y-intercept is 23. The next example. Find the equation of a line with a gradient of minus 2 and it passes through the point minus 3, minus 4. Again, we use the stated formula we saw earlier where m is negative 2 because we are given that in the information and x1, y1 is minus 3, minus 4. Substituting that information into the equation y minus minus 4 equals minus 2 outside of x minus minus 3. So y plus 4 equals minus 2 outside of x plus 3. Remove the grouping symbols, we get y plus 4 equals minus 2x minus 6. Subtract 4 from both sides gives us y equals minus 2x minus 10. We see that the gradient is minus 2, which we were given earlier, and the y-intercept is minus 10. So in this video we've been introduced to a very important formula which is known as the point gradient formula and if we're given the gradient and a point through which the line passes we can find the equation of that particular line.